Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my vlog. My name is Aretha. Um, thank you for joining me. I want you guys to watch the video to the end. It's going to be a fun-filled day, hopefully. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I will be preparing some food. Not a lot because I still have some leftovers. We're going to go to the container store. Um... And who knows what else we're going to get into. So, let's get going. Good Saturday morning. Um, it's still dark. I'm just rolling out of bed. We're going to start off with an experiment. It is... I don't know what time it is. It's very early. So we're going to look at my numbers really quick and um, do this experiment. Sorry, that's Sarah. Okay, there are my ketones. And here is my blood sugar. Not sure why it's so high. The only thing I can think of is I did take some cold medicine last night, but I'm not sure why it would have, well, yeah, it could affect it. Alrighty, so we're going to do this. Um, it is the, the lava. Again, very pure ingredients. Um, I went over them before. It's the peely nut milk. It's, um, let me look at this really good. Some coconut water. Let's see what else is there filtered water that's it so really cool and clean again I think the carbs in here they're coming from the coconut water and we're gonna see how much that affects me alrighty and let's get a good amount take it by itself here it is. Actually, it's pretty good. A really good taste by itself. It's unsweetened. None of that. So I'm going to set my alarm. We're going to come back in an hour and we're going to see if anything happens. See you guys then. <laughs> Okay, I'm back with the results. It's been actually 59 minutes. So we're almost to an hour. So here we go. Still at a four. And this time the blood sugar actually went down. I might do this test again. Here's my theory. I normally don't have a really high blood sugar. I think because it was so early in the morning and um, I did have some cold medicine last night for this, these sniffles and stuff, but normally this is what my blood sugar normally looks like, so I don't know. It's weird and it went down quite that much um, after having that, but then again, this is my first time testing it. Um, and it could be another one of my theories Again, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Um, the cleaner the ingredients, the less, maybe the less impact it has on you. So even though it was coconut water, maybe coconut water doesn't affect me. I don't know. So yay for that. Um, I'm going to start pulling together my first meal. And I think I will show you guys because I need to jump in a shower really quick and um, get this day going because my plan is to head out to that container store. I'm kind of excited about it, but I need to measure a few things before I leave. But I'm excited to explore it, which could be a blessing and a curse because I could get there and start seeing 
everything under the sun and come back with God knows probably $500, $500 worth of stuff that I don't need. But you guys are going to keep me in check. Let's get into me doing what I might have for breakfast. All right, this is just a very small amount of cauliflower. I have no idea how much. So what I did, I had bought a large bag of, I was trying to find this cauliflower by itself. And for some reason, the store didn't have it. They had cauliflower and broccoli. That's why you still see small pieces of broccoli in here. I picked the broccoli out and use it in a different recipe. Um, so what I'm gonna do with this is roast it while I'm in the shower. So it's gonna just be a little bit of olive oil I'm gonna put on here. Make sure there's olive oil. I'm not measuring anything out. So there's the olive oil. Some garlic salt. Oops. Okay. And I got some Mrs. Dash garlic and herbs. Okay, we're gonna kind of get this all mixed up together. Hopefully, everybody gets some seasoning and some oil on them. All right, got my paper towel to clean up my hands. This is going into the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes or until. For me, it's really crispy. Now, I like mine really crispy. Some people do not. It's, you know, a texture thing, probably. But I'll be back, um, and I will be pulling my first meal together. And I'll see you guys then. Okay, it is my first meal time. And this is a very weird breakfast. So I still have quite a bit of leftovers. So I'm trying to finish off this little, I don't, for the lack of a better word, little casserole dish I made that had the sardines in it and also some um, salmon. These, this right here is my um, crunchy cauliflower. It's so good. Right here is some avocado. So I have a lot of the avocado cups in my refrigerator. It's just plain avocado, not guacamole. So I have that and two small tomatoes cut up on top of it, and I'm calling it good. So I will be checking back in. We are going to actually be going to um, the container store. I'm excited about that. So I will see you in a bit. Hi, guys. You know what time it is. So I don't know if you can see this too well. We're gonna get started with some food prep. And what we're gonna prep first is what I'm gonna call a spaghetti bake. And um, I was gonna run out to the store, but I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, I thought I had some rails, and I think I just used all of it. So I'm bummed about that, but we're gonna roll with the tomato, tomato sauce and some diced tomatoes. And we're going to still make our spaghetti and it's going to taste just as fabulous. So this will be our spaghetti sauce we're going to make up. I have some salt. I got some pepper and I got some Italian seasoning. Um, I'm not going to use any ground beef. I'm going to use this Costco chicken that I have because I want to use it up. And um, we're going to make this bake because I want to take it with me because we're going to be um, uh, going over the mountains um, pretty soon. So I want to have some food prepared for that. 
I got three eggs sitting here. I got some of the folio wraps. I have some mixed greens in this bowl right here. And I have some broccoli. So, first thing what I am going to do, I'm going to take this bag of, well, it's broccoli cauliflower mix. I'm going to open this bag. I'm going to dump it into this bowl. I'm going to cut them up a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put them in a the microwave for a few minutes to steam them, to pre-cook them just a little bit. And we will roll from there. Okay, I've cut up the vegetables are all cut up. I microwave them a little bit to get them a little bit tender. So while they're cooling, we're gonna season. I broke out some more seasoning, so um let's see. I might get another seasoning too. All right. And here's my sauce. I added it to this jar to make it easier to season. Well, this measuring cup, giant measuring cup. So I'm going to start with some pepper and I'm just going to liberally put it in here. I'm just eyeballing everything. Of course, turmeric. And I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit this on um, the bowl with the veggies in it. With a little bit of turmeric and pepper just a little bit because I love my turmeric you guys know I swear by turmeric okay got that and I am going to add now some garlic powder again I don't I'm just not going to measure any of this I have some onion powder. Salt. And I'll go ahead and add just a little bit of salt here. Okay. And we have the, some Italian seasoning. I'm going to add some liberally here. And a little bit to the veggie mix. And got my little small whisker. I'm just going to start incorporating the spices into the sauce. So that it's all the way through. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is kind of, I'm just going to use my hands. My hands are clean. And go in here and kind of get this kind of mixed together. Yeah, it's still a little bit warm, but not too bad. Okay. So what I, I'm going to wash my hands, and what I'm going to do next is pour some of the sauce and start working on my chicken. Alrighty, so now I'm back. We're going to pour half of the sauce, kind of like so. And I'm going to get these well incorporated, the veggies, mix them around. I'm 
okay? And let me grab my diced tomatoes. I'm just going to add them into here. And get them kind of stirred around and incorporated. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to bring over my baking dish so that I can start working on my chicken because these are in kind of like big pieces. So I just kind of want to pull them apart and get them a little bit smaller So, because this is going to be a very high protein dish with some veggies in it. So you can see, let me get some of this stuff out of the way, that they're in pretty good, you know, lot big pieces. So I'm going to pull them apart and I'm not going to bore you while I pull it apart. So I will be back after I get all of these pulled apart and probably dumped in here and get everything kind of incorporated. Alrighty, so... Everything is pulled apart. The chicken is in the bowl. And hopefully, everything is going to fit. We're going to see. Um, and let's start getting this all worked in together. This smells so good. And it's not even cooking yet. It smells so good. It's the sauce. You know, I think I'm going to need a better stirring utensil. So. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay. Here we go. Now we got it. All right. Let's see. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see, I'm gonna have a mess here. There. Okay, finish getting this little bit started in, then we're gonna crack the eggs in here. And the eggs is because I'm not using cheese on the inside to bind it together, so it's kind of like um, a firm casserole after it cooks. So, yeah, the cheese I'm going to be putting at the bottom and just at the top. So, let's get our eggs going. So, yes, again, very protein rich. Okay, break the eggs apart and get them stirred up in here. So basically, when we put it in the oven, we want the cheese to melt and the eggs to cook through it. And that's about it. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's really incorporated really good with the eggs. So I have my baking dish ready. I put down, already put down two folio wraps. 
So I'm just going to dump this in, hopefully evenly. Sorry about that noise. Okay, let me just spread it around. There. Um, let me move back so y'all can see a little bit better. There. Okay, so it's spread it pretty evenly. Let's see here. Yeah, it's pretty even. So, I'm going to put a cheddar folio wrap. Again, the folio wraps are lactose-free, so if any of y'all have dairy issues, um, folio is lactose-free. Um, Cabot cheese is lactose-free. And I'm going to do that. So... And I want to say, okay, the cheddar folio has 11 grams of protein. The um, Parmesan has uh, 13 grams of protein. So we're looking at, like I said, very protein rich. Everything is ready. This is going to go into the oven 350 until, like I said, the eggs are cooked, the cheese is melted. So, we'll be back. And this is my spaghetti bake out of the oven. Oh my God, it is so pretty. And it smells so good. Okay, we are here at the container store. Hi guys, just a little bit of a check-in before um, we're home from the container store. So I'm just going to talk about something I experienced while I was out. So I went to the mall in Bellevue, to the container store, as I said. And when I parked and walked through the mall to get to the store, there was all these overwhelming scents from, I'm going to say maybe it was the food court or whatever. So I finished my shopping, get my things, and on my way home, I think it was from all those scents from the food, my brain, it was just like my brain was on this heightened alert. It was like I heard voices in my head. One was like, oh, you're going to be passing by the pizza place. Oh, you're going to go by a burger shop. Oh, you're going by here. You're going by there. I just, um, anyone who has watched me probably thought I was crazy. I just had to say to myself out loud. Okay, fat girl, we have food at home. We are not going anywhere to eat. And I'm not a big, um, I'm not really into, y'all know me. I'm not into going to those fast food shops and doing all that. That's just, it's not my thing. I mean, if I do it, it's, it might be once every two months or when you see me doing my little road trips, if we are well, super late, no and out for hours, you might see me do that and I'll show it to you, but it's very rare. And I was like, it just goes to show you the power of addiction. And I was a food addict and I think food is going to be something I struggle with, but you know, I have to be stronger than my excuses, stronger than that addiction. Um, what was it going to solve if I went to a fast food place and got some crap food? Or even if I said, okay, we're going to go, but we're going to be good. I just, I can't see myself going to some place, getting food that I can prepare at home. And then on top of that, I already have food at home to eat. That, it, to me, it makes no sense. So just, I mean, I came on just to do this little check-in. Um... 
I feel to a degree is sort of a non-skill victory because I did not give in to that fat girl voice in my head. Because, yep, I, when I walked into that mall, the food scent was strong. It was overpowering. It smelled good, but I did not follow the scent. And it's just so weird on my way home, that little voice in my head was just going and going and going until I stopped it. I put a stop to it. So, that's just my, my little, um, I'm going to say non skill victory. So, I need to get out of this car and drag all my stuff in and I'll show you what I got. All right, we got our little stuff. Let's look inside this bag. So, we have some nice medium sized baskets here. And we have a small, cute one. And um, one kind of large, large one, and another medium one. So, I'm hoping these will work for what I need them for. It looks like they will. So I'm going to start um, utilizing these things and getting some structure to some of this crap in the house. So I will be back. All right, guys. So it is towards the end of the day. Almost time for my final meal. Let's see. I did some house cleaning. I went and got some um, containers. What else did I do? There was a little bit of cooking, but I still have such a large amount of leftovers I need to uncycle through. Um, before I get into the last meal, I wanted to um, explore the idea of fat loss. Now... I did this years, 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 years ago. I think even before I was on YouTube. The idea of using a belt to track um, inches lost in your waist. So I have a trusty belt that I had at my highest weight. You see the holes. You see all of that. It's everything. Okay, so I'm going to use this belt to... Do a measurement so let me see if I can adjust the camera hold on guys all right we've got the camera so here it is I'm gonna put it on now to give you some perspective at my heaviest I think this is might be the only thing I have from my very heaviest I couldn't even fasten it I could it's just so you can see at my extreme heaviest, it was like that. I couldn't get into it. So here's what we're gonna do. And just to see where I'm at, I don't want it too tight and all of that. So here's my natural waist. So it actually goes with some give. There, see, there's room. It's in one of these bigger holes right here. Like I said, there's room in it still. It's not squeezing. So, we see. So, what I'm going to do every, let's see, month maybe, we'll try the belt on and see how much further I can pull it. Okay? So, let's get into the meal. Okay, and this is the final meal. It's a spinach salad. And all it is, is just, not spinach, excuse me, power green salad. And I use some of my homemade salad dressing. These right here, if you remember earlier in the week, I made these little babies. So I need to eat them up. It's just eggs with ground beef. And that's what I'm going to call my final meal. I'm going to get this video together and get it up for you guys. Um... Those of you that requested cookbooks, I'm going to try to get them out next week. Um, if you still want one, uh, my information is in my, my email is in my information box. 
email me and let me know. Give me your mailing address and I'll get it out to you. So I'm going to do my best to get them out on Monday. So with that being said, I'm going to close up this blog. I hope you enjoy. Um, and I will be back with some more videos. Thank you guys so much.